On the agenda today are the upper power tool cabinets for the curbside wall in the Ultimate Mobile Woodshop. Uh, so they're gonna kinda go right here and back there. Pretty simple setup, the dividers are modular, so you can kinda move them around to adjust to whatever size power tool you're putting in the shelf. For now, I'm just doing the upper portion, but eventually, down here, it's gonna be a bunch of small parts organization, things for like screws and electronics and things like that. I've laid it out so that I can get both sides done with one sheet of plywood, so if I stick to this, I can save myself some money, which is perfect because I have one sheet left. I know I can cut straight lines without a rip fence or with a circular saw, but I always find myself in this situation where I've got a critical cut, I've got one sheet of plywood left, and I just never want to mess it up. I guess there's nothing to be shamed out of that. Aw, oh, come on. I am officially returning what I have left of this plywood. It is complete junk. Well, they wanted $120 a sheet for domestic birch. I would gladly pay triple import prices, but not quadruple now. So I got a different brand import that was twice the price. Hopefully I have some better luck with this. All right, I was able to get all the parts cut out of one sheet of plywood, and this was my scrap here. So very happy about that. Let's put it all together. Something I don't like is how far out this, how deep this cabinet is. At 16 inches on a 20 inch base cabinet. It just looks out of place. I'm gonna cut this back to 12. I think that'll make the proportions look a little bit better. That looks much better. Actually it looks proportional now. And my longest tool, the belt sander, is 12 inches anyway. So I actually cut this at 12 and a half. Definitely happy with that. Turning out really nice. Um, this little front piece here, I just used a piece of quarter inch. It's a little bit anemic. I can see that getting busted as I pull things in and out. My goal in this entire build is to be exactly strong enough. I want it to be lightweight, but strong enough to hold. So I don't want to overdo anything, otherwise I'll be a little bit too heavy. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Now let's turn our attention to the V-nose and the bench. I'm not exactly sure what my plan is here, to be honest. I'm thinking I will run a two by four that way, that way. I don't have a bevel gauge, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this inside corner here. Good enough for a first try. These angles I couldn't open up enough with my miter saw, so I had to cut them with the circular saw and then finished it up with the, the old rusty hand saw. I mean, trusty hand saw, where we might want them. Probably measure. Let's get the tape measure out, huh? All right, I've got myself a cardboard template made up. I'm just gonna take this over to my sheet of plywood and just trace around it. Woo, sometimes you just get lucky. I did not think about that. <laughs> that was a close one. I decided I'm gonna use the last sheet of half inch that I have on hand to cover this back wall so that I have a more uniform surface to screw my tool holders into and less of a chance of fitting studs and wires and pipe. And there's the sun. Hello, sun. Not too shabby, it's coming along. I'm pretty happy with that, and I'm very happy with the power tool upper cabinets as well. Really, I'm happy with everything. It's coming along exactly as I would hope. Tomorrow I'm gonna get started on the bandsaw cabinet. I bought this bandsaw on Craigslist for 300 bucks. I'm gonna take it apart and make a custom rolling cabinet that locks into the E-Track. And then we have the table saw cabinet, and then we're about ready to hit the road. I got a couple little things like the backup cameras and the security system to install as well. And of course this week we want to thank Lark United Manufacturing who provided us with this trailer. They have out of the box designs and from the ground up custom designed anything that you want. They can build it. LarkUnited.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.